Hi guys and ladies, I've made this recipe before here exactly two years ago. It was about the best recipe I ever stumbled upon, but I had very few subscribers then, and I'd like to do it again so that more people can try it. I'm talking about homemade gyros, or yiddos. Let's start with a tzatziki sauce. <music> Now I need the juice from one half of this lemon. Have you ever tried to find full fat yogurt? I don't believe it exists, so I have to go with this 2% kind. I, I want to put a cup in here. That's like 16 tablespoons. It's one, two, come back tomorrow, and 16. Here I'm grating a big long uh, English cucumber. Hmm, not bad. Okay, here I need to chop one quarter cup of fresh mint. What do I do with the stems? Those stems look kind of nasty, so I'm only chopping the leaves. I have here a half teaspoon of crushed garlic. I like crushed because it disperses better. I'm gonna go with a half teaspoon of salt. About a half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper too. Now I'm just blending it all together. It's really, really good. But I'm adding just a touch more garlic, about another quarter teaspoon of garlic. Look at that. It looks like tzatziki sauce. Wow. I'm just cutting up some grape tomatoes now to use for our garnish. Here I want to slice half of this onion, the sweet onion. So I'll just put this aside for now. I'm doing this for garnish. Yes, more garnish. Okay, here is one pound of ground lamb. You can use 85% lean ground beef if you don't have this. Let's dump it in there. It's got paper on it. Here's two teaspoons of kosher salt. Here is almost a teaspoon, over a half teaspoon of oregano. Now about a half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. I'm just going to mix it now. Mixing, mixing. So in the meantime, I need to refrigerate this and get it really cold. I'm going to cover it with this stupid red glad wrap. It was on sale. Uh, have to refrigerate it for over an hour. I've got half of a sweet onion here and all I'm trying to do is chunk it up. Hey, not bad, it's all chunked up. Now I'm slicing this one clove of garlic. In Spanish they call them teeth. One tooth, diente. Now I'm going to pull out five slices, I hope, of bacon, five. I know this sounds crazy, but it works. I got to tell you, we're not here making authentic Greek yiddos. We're making Americanized Greek gyros, the kind that you would get at the county fair. I'm just going to cut these pieces up into about one inch pieces. So the bacon here is to provide the fat content that you would get from the gyro meat on those large vertical rotisseries. I promise you, you will not notice the bacon flavor. All I'm going to do now is process our meat with the bacon, onions, and garlic. They're nice and cold. They're supposed to be cold. We gotta do this for at least a minute. 
couple of times you have to stop and scrape down the sides, it says. Now I have to get this meat mixture into this baking pan. This is the hard part. Oh no, I broke the foil. I repaired the foil. Blade, anyone? Somehow, with my hands, I have to form this uh, into a loaf one and a half inches high, eight inches long, and five inches wide. I need to set the oven to 300 Fahrenheit. I think I got it to where I, I want it. It's about the right dimensions, eight by five, and well, one and a half or so, maybe a little less. Our oven is ready. I'm going to put it in for like 30 minutes until the inside reads 155 degrees. I might as well let you know, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is coming over for dinner tonight. And Well, you see, I've been trying to work up the courage to ask her to marry me for decades. Uh, my therapist said to compose affirmations and recite them to overcome my fear of rejection and to strengthen my confidence. I think I will. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <clears throat> I am worthy of love. I love challenges. I keep pushing until I succeed. I will overcome my fear of failure. My oven cooks fast. It's been only 25 minutes and I'm going to remove our baby and then take its temperature. Hear that? Huh? If it's okay, I'll give him a little nap. That means I'll let him rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's see how it is. One fifty-five. This is perfect. I'm slicing this into one eighth to one quarter inch strips. They look good. Now all I'm going to do is put them in the baking pan and then under the broiler. Now let's heat up this broiler. Into the broiler they go for two minutes. Top shelf. It's been three minutes. Let's see how they look. Whoa! That's the way I like them. Look, it's crispy on the outside, just like it was shaved off of a rotisserie cone. Crispy outside, soft and tender inside. Mmm, gyro meat. bought these pita breads online. They're low carb. And look, I've got four of them in this baking tray. I'm going to put them under the broiler for 45 seconds each side to warm and soften them. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity uh, restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for honoring me at my little tiny trailer home. Hi. Um, hi. Hi. Uh, you had a chance to dine on my uh, homemade low-carb gyros. What did you think? Oh, they were delicious. They were just right, and they were tasty, and really? um, the, all the lovely vegetables and the really good tzatziki sauce. I enjoyed it. Mm. And they were crispy a little yes. and tender, I mm, hope. Excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Uh, Miss Lulu, uh, may I have your hand? Um, uh, I've been wanting to ask you this for a long, long time now. Um, uh, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I get so nervous. I, I can't talk. Oh, you need to build up your self-confidence. You should try reciting affirmations. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, oh, can I have a hug?